Yes, so hello everyone. This is Akhilesh Bhagwat from Graphology Made Simple. And in this video, we are going to be learning about analysis. How to do analysis? We are going to learn just that in this video. Okay, so before this video, I believe you have watched all the videos. Okay, before videos, for example, slant, direction, and all the videos about signature analysis. And you have some knowledge about those things. Because in this video, we are not going to get into those traits. We are just going to look at how to do analysis. We are not going to study what this trait says, what this says, what this particular thing says. Okay, that's that's for another videos, which we have already been seen or created. So let's just look at how to find someone's public personality by their signature by doing analysis. So here are three steps that I have mentioned here. You can have your own in your own way. Okay. As you gain experience yet at the start as a, at a beginner level, you must follow some steps. Okay. And here are those. So first step is sample. So before at the start of this course, I believe you have already watched how to get the sample and you have already got the samples as well yet let's still have a look and okay get an overview so you must tell the writer to give three samples okay you must need to tell them to sign at least three times with blue pen or even black and the pen must be small okay so the pen that you are get using for sample must be ball pen be it blue or black it shouldn't be sketch pen, it shouldn't be ink pen or it shouldn't be any other pencil even. Okay, it shouldn't be like that. It must be ball pen and the color it may it must have is blue or black. Because this particular color helps you know the pressure the writer is having. Okay. And in paper, you can tell the writer to give in blank paper because blank paper helps in getting to know the baselines writer is having okay is it upward direction downward direction it is easy to analyze that if it's in line then it is little much more harder okay and the best way to do analysis as a graphology as a whole if you are doing analysis is to have handwriting sample as well handwriting sample will help you get to know a lot of things about the writer Okay, more than what just only a signature can say. Okay, you can know about writer as a whole, his real personality and public personality. Yet, if you don't have a writing sample, it's okay. You can still do the analysis, no problem. Okay, yet handwriting sample is preferred best. And then you need to ask the writer what name they have written up. Sometimes you may find that writer have their last name written. So, for example, during my case. It happened that writer was having his last name as Rohit. Okay, the last name of the writer was Rohit. Now we all know Rohit Sharma, right? Rohit Sharma and Rohit Sharma is in Rohit Sharma. The first name is Rohit. Yet in my case, the writer's last name was Rohit. So I thought it is the first name and I analyzed that. Then the writer told me, no, it was last name. So after that, I always now ask the writer what name they are writing and I think you should do same because it will help you know or it will help you gain clarity which name the writer writing. For example, sometimes a writer may have two initials, okay, then their last name. Okay, so you need to ask the writer which is the first initial, which is the second initial. So sometimes a writer may write first initial as their father, mother's name. Sometimes it may happen they write the second one. So you need to ask them which initials they are writing and okay and what it means. So for example, is this the father's initial, mother's initial or is this the father's or mother's one or anybody's in their family or anybody. Okay, wife, husband. You need to ask the writer the name. It is very important step in analysis, signature analysis, which name writer has written. Sometimes you may also not be able to find the name as the signature is too much illegible so that creates the problem so that's why too you need to ask the writer the name they have written up okay 
Now, what happens is that sometimes a writer may have different types of signature. Okay, so for example, in my case, I have different signature in my for my bank account. So I have different signature for my public. Publicly, I use different signature, right? So there are a lot of people who have different types of signature in their bank. They have different because during the childhood days when we create the bank account, I was not knowing about graphology and they may also not be knowing about it. So they may have their old sign only and as the very for verification it is needed. So they don't they are not willing to change that. So instead some people have just like me the different public sign. Okay, so you need to tell the writer to what type of sign are they having. The writer may have three sign, four sign, five sign. It happens. And then after they give you all the signs, you need to ask them which one is the sign which they use the most. Okay, so in my case, I use the public sign the most. The bank sign is restricted to only bank documents. Right? So you need to ask the writer which sign do they use the most and you will be analyzing that sign. Okay, instead of analyzing every signature, just look at the sign which writer is using the most because that will that is having the big impact on the writer. So that's all for the sample step. Okay. As simple as that blue ball, ball pen. Take the handwriting sample as well possible. Okay, if possible, then you need to ask their name. Okay, which name they have written up and then you need to ask them if they have any more signatures. Okay, and which one do they use the most? So second step is scanning. Okay, scanning means that you are going to have a look at the signature before analyzing. Okay, or, or you can say you are going to analyze. So here are some steps I have mentioned. You can have your own steps. Okay. At the start, as a beginner, it is best to follow the steps. Okay, at the beginner level. So firstly, the first step is is the signature same as the handwriting. Okay, so if, if you have handwriting sample, it is best if you have one. Okay, like this, for example, if you have handwriting sample, here is the handwriting and here is a signature. Okay, so we need to check if the letters in both the signature and handwriting are same. Is the size of handwriting and signature same or other things are same or not? Okay, it is. this is the best way to do analysis. Okay, as a whole analysis, you can say not only signature, whole analysis, handwriting plus signature. Yet, if you don't have handwriting sample and you have only signature sample, and you are going to get into only signature analysis, then you can follow from the second step, which is check if name is legible or not. So check if the name is legible. Okay, so for, for example, is the name visible? You can you read the name? Okay, so for example, you can read this, right? A K. Sometimes you will find that someone have signature like this. Okay, so you cannot read the name clearly. So take take note. Can you read the name or not? And then you have to look at what name that has written. You have already asked this question, so you got the answer, right? So after this, we have to look at size of the signature. Is it small signature like this, or is it the bigger one like this? You have to look at that. Okay, or is it the medium one? You have to look at that. And then you have to look at how many underlines the writer is having. Is it one? Is it two? Or is it none? There are writers who have no underlines and it's okay. And then you have to look at dots. Okay, so how many dots writer is having and where is the position? So is the dot after the signature like this? Or is it below the signature like this? If it's below the signature, how many dots? Is it one or is it two? If it's two, where is the dot? Is it in the middle is it in last or is it first okay so at this stage you have you now you may have confused there are so many traits to think well just have notes aside by your side while analyzing the signature because at the start you may not be able to 
find all this trade by yourself why because you at the start you are a beginner right at my level or little higher level you can easily find those trades without looking into any notes right so after dots and underlines you have to look at signature placement so if you have handwriting as well as signature like here a sample like here okay then you have to look at the placement so here the placement is on right side so writer is a future thinker if the placement is here it means writer is thinking about past if it's here then it's present right? attention grabbing person so you have to look at the placement as well okay and after that take the note after looking at it and then you have to look at the direction okay what direction it is having is it in upward direction is it in middle direction is it in downward direction right what direction that is having and then you have to look at size as we have discussed and speed well for speed remember for speed you have writer must be in front of you okay he must be signing in front of you because that's the only way you can know if writer is signing in his fast, fast way or slow manner so after that letter trades letter trades means the trades which are found both in handwriting as well as signature okay so have a, this letter t y i are the most important letters yet letter f letter a letter e are the other letters as well o and j and all other letters okay 26 so you have to look if the t remains same so for example writer having high t bar in his handwriting is it same in signature okay or if writer is having y complete loop is it same in signature you have to have a look at that okay and for letter trades on if you if you don't have and writing then for the signature trade just look at letter t letter y is writer confident person or is it not or is it writer frustrated about relationship social life or how much socially writer is finances okay and other stuff other letters as well so these are all, all the letters which are going which are found to be in signature okay they are not going to be seen in handwriting okay these are only found in signatures yet letter traits is the traits which is found both so that's why you you need both yet you can do analysis for letter traits without handwriting as well okay yet the best is both then you have to look at is there any emotional distress or negative trait okay emotional distress in the sense the avoid trait that we have studied okay so for example going in down one direction or the suicide signature right the name cutting you have to look at that is there any why cutting okay is there any claw is there any other negative trait you have to look at that okay the dot of the, the signature okay these are some of the negative trait emotional distress can be found in the base lines okay and then after that you have to look at you have to after you have taken the notes about everything you have to make summary about how the writer is and what is writer's public personality okay so for example here the writer is open minded person the clear visible upward direction so optimistic person right initials so it means sacrifices for family okay if you have complete last name okay are single underline healthy ego so we have to make summary about that how is writer public personality and after that the last one is suggestions for improvements okay if you have studied the graph of therapy or if you know the positive traits or something that needs to be changed in writer signature then we have to take note about that as well so for example the cut sign okay this is not good or the reverse you can say the reverse the reverse underline this is not good pass thinker so you have to tell the writer to avoid this trait right so write down what needs to be avoided So scanning is a big thing, right? It takes a lot of time to explain it. Yet you can follow those steps at the start. You don't have to look at all the steps at the start. 
you can just go with small small ones so for example first you experiment with this one okay with many signatures then you add one 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 trade newly okay with your practice you become expert and then you don't need to look at notes you do the analysis without looking at notes okay so take one at a time first choose three and then add one 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 at a time okay and become expert now how to explain because at the end it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have or what how much you are good at graphology or any other any other skills okay as a whole at the end it depends on how you present presentation is very important right to help the writer in a way and to satisfy the writer right so for that you must first note down tell the writer the positive traits what positive traits they are having by looking at their signature then we have to tell them the negative traits okay what negative traits they are having which needs improvement then you have to tell them the changes that are needed so for example if writers have low t bar then you tell them to replace that with high t bar okay if writer is having cut in their signature then you have to tell them to not cut it okay that's the graphotherapy parts we will learn in another video don't worry about it okay so this is another one that we have to tell at last so and as the aim of our whole analysis is to help the writer right so that's all for this video i believe you got the whole overview about how to do analysis now you will be thinking is there any practical video that you are going to explain to us yes after this video we are going to do an analysis okay so be excited for that okay for the sake of this video i believe you got the concept clear there are three steps first step is the sample you have to take the sample this way okay four simple steps blue ball, ball pen is necessary and name is necessary and the signature which is used most is necessary for analysis and then there is the second steps the scanning one you can start with few sample at the start then you can move to one sample okay one trait at a time okay as you become expert and take the notes by yourself at the beginning at the after you practice a lot those notes will go away and you will be able to analyze without any notes like me okay and then you have to explain the presentation very important because it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have presentation is the most important so first tell first tell positive then tell negative and then tell them the graphotherapy or the improvements or changes that is needed in signature analysis okay in signature as a whole so that they improve their life okay and they remember you <laughs> okay so that's all for this video i believe you have learned the concept and now you will be able to do analysis okay by yourself so that's all for this video thank you for watching let's keep learning and let's keep growing